I will be setting up Amazfit T-Rex 2 with an iPhone and steps will be the same for the Android device as well. Before you begin, you need to download and install the Zap app on your smartphone. I will be leaving the link for the app in the description below. Once installed, you need to open the Zap app. If you have signed up before, then you can log in using the same email ID and password. You can also sign up if you are a first time Amazfit user. I would recommend using other login methods as sometimes Amazfit doesn't let you log in even with the right credentials for some reason. I am going to log in using my Google account, but you can choose whichever method you prefer. If you are logging in for the first time, it will ask you to sign up. On the next screen, fill in your region, then accept terms and conditions. Fill in some personal details and tap on done. On the next screen, app will ask you to select the device you want to pair with your phone. Tap on the watch option. You will be presented with the two options. First one is that you have the watch that can display QR code. And the second one is the watch that can't display the QR code. After powering on the watch with the select button, select the language and the watch will start displaying a QR code. Now on the app, select the watch with QR code option and scan your watch. This will send a binding request on your watch. Tap on the tick icon to proceed. After that, app will ask some more permissions to back up your Zap account, buy data and more. Proceed to click on the synchronization option and now you can use your Amazfit T-Rex 2 watch with your iPhone or Android device. So guys that's all for today. If you found the video useful make sure to hit that like button. I will be coming out with an in-depth T-Rex 2 review soon. So don't forget to press that bell icon. See you next time.